Ranger Cookie, and today we're going to you, we're going to be cooking Taco Bell at home. Well, we're gonna make we're gonna make some Mexican feed. Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and today we're gonna to have some Mexicans. And how we're gonna make some Mexican food with tortillas? I have to rejig this thing and see if I can get it right. But basically, that's long food. I can't do that. All right, we're gonna make some taco shells, and we had some other shells. We could probably make some small ones for the sauce. But what you want to do is get you a big deep frying pan and another pan that goes over the shell. I show you. Basically, you're looking for another thing to go on top of it, like this, and you will put this in your oil. And when you put it in your oil, it's gonna cave around this cup, and it's gonna make a shell. And we're going to eat out the shell today. Right now, I'm waiting for the oil to get hot. I'll see you in a few seconds. Alright, before you begin this project, make sure you get a little cup or can or something with a little wire diggity dang. And this is going to help you make your tortilla shells. Make sure your grease is hot. Throw your tortilla in. Take your cup and go straight down with it. Make sure your handles is pretty long because the uh, your oil doesn't like to bubble up and uh, burn you time to time. And don't fill your pot all the way up because you got to sink that sucker down. I don't believe I need tongs. Yeah, the tortillas are a little too small for this project. But that's okay. We're going to have a nice cracker shell to eat with. And we got some turns. What you want to do is take that out. Now over here I got some paper down some, and we're going to put it on paper, excuse me. Alright, get another one going. You want to pre-cook these because it's it's really oily. So just throw your tortilla in the middle, put your cup around top. A very deep, deep fryer will work better for this project if you have a deep fryer. And bigger tortillas will work even better because they will make that shell. Just keep it down there till it stops bubbling and bring it out. Alright. Now it might stick to the cup or... There you go. And here's another shell. Take a look. Try to drain all the oil away before you uh, bring it to your paper. Alright. Now let's get another one. And when you put your cup on, go on that more to the top because it gives it a lip but since these are so small I have to go in the middle of the tortilla. Ooh, this one got bubbles. Yeah, just be careful when you, you fry your tortillas, your shells. Sometimes they don't work like you want and it will just bubble up everywhere. Just poke a hole in it. Ooh. You can see this is a dangerous thing about uh, cooking your tortillas. That's why you got to have the right equipment to do the job. All right. And we got the... Oh! <laughs> that burns. All right. Like I said, this is a really like dangerous thing you are uh, doing. So make sure you got the right equipment.
right, I will be right back with the rest of the cooking the tortillas. Now, we want to make some tortilla chips. How do you do that? Well, take about two or three of them and take your nice sharp knife and cut a pie out of it. Cut your four slices or how many slices you want. You can make your chips about this big or you can make them smaller. So this is your tortilla chips. You want to throw them in your fryer? Spread them out. Don't let them stick, stick together. Just throw them in the fryer. This is your tortilla chips. Mr. Mark, you have any season? Yep. Let's get the season going. All right, what you want to do is get your seasons ready, whatever seasons you like. Get a plate. Half your chips are almost done. Take a look at this. Look at that pretty. Now, you get your chips done. Now, after your chips are done, you're trying to drain them up a little bit. Now, these are like tater chips. See, we had three sizes of tortillas. We can make a, a dish bowl and you put your sauce in. And over here. Uh, we want to uh, drain this. Just grab the uh, uh, paper. Okay. Yeah, any paper. All right, what we'll do is, I should have paper in here, but my, my friend's first time cooking with Ranger Cookie, I guess. Now, after you do that, put your season right on those chips, whatever season you like. Yeah. Some garlic powder, whatever kind of season you like, just to, to, to sprinkle it on there, make sure all the chips get the nice flavor. Little cayenne pepper, baby. What is that, Tony's? It's not your mama. Oh! Out. You gotta turn it. <laughs> All right. Now sometimes it's good to cook, eat these hot. Let's see. What else? That's it. And a little salt. Just a salt. Just a pink. Cause already got seasoned already. And that's your tortilla chips. Try it one, Mr. Man. I might be a little greasy because they do. Mmm. Oh, need now some mustard and hot sauce. So it's the seasoned chips. Now I do recommend when you do make the tortilla chips, the tortilla shells, make sure you have the frying pan and all the stuff ready. This was this uh, spontaneous thing. I could have used better safety equipment here today, but today it was this quick. I made a bunch of tortilla shells. I think it all worked pretty good. Might be better if we even had corn tortillas. Yeah. Always pre-cook your tortillas and your shells early because they need to drain and dry. Now we're going to cook our main meal in a few minutes. So stay tuned. I'm Ranger Cookie. That was your artist, Mark D. Chandler from Manland. No, he's not. He's no. too grumpy. All right, bye-bye. All right, to finish this project, take your taco shell. Throw your little tomato, put it over here, a little beef, put a little beef. Now you can uh, you can use chicken or whatever you like. A little combined sauce. Oh, too much. A little cheese, lettuce, and voila! You have your taco salad shell ready to eat. Just put it on the plate. Now you can get the little type of shells, you can fill it with the sauce, and you can have it for dipping. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. Before we go, we have to ask the guinea pigs once again. All right, here's one guinea pig. It might have good. You should see him eating all the. Uh... Yeah, there ain't no chips left. We don't eat them. 
<laughs> he ate them suckers up in no time. All right, Ranger Cookie, and this is my, 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 my,